Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you'd be fine. In this video today we are going to learn how to draw triangles in different of different types. Uh, so watch the video till the end. This is uh, Think New Syllabus Mathematics chapter number 11. So in this video we are going to learn how to draw triangles and how to write down their construction steps. So for the first one as you can see on your screens it says construct a triangle ABC. In this triangle ABC they are telling us the two sides that is uh, sorry one side AB. So whatever side you are given if you are only given with one side you will take it as the base. So for this we are going to draw a base of AB of 10.2 centimeters. Okay. This is 10.2 centimeters line. First of all we have to draw a line. Okay. And use a sharp pencil. So this is line AB and we will mark it as A, B, and we will write down its length over here that is 10.2 centimeters. Okay, and uh, this would be the first construction step that is using a ruler draw AB is equals to 10.2 centimeters. Whatever triangle you are drawing, this would be your very first construction step. Okay. Next, what uh, are we provided with? We are provided with next two angles. ABC is equals to 60 degrees and the other one is BAC is equals to 45 degrees. Just note down somewhere that if you are provided with this angle, the middle letter, the letter in the center would be marked as the given angle like ABC means at point B we have 60 degrees this point we will have 60 degrees and point A we will have 45 degrees so for this if we are provided with two angles or if uh, we are provided with only one angle so what we will do we will take since B in the first one is equals to 60 degrees and this is what we are going to write in the construct construction step as well that since B is equals to 60 degrees using a protector at B using a protector at B mark of an angle of 60 degrees and how do we have to mark it we have to put this line on the baseline and coincide this center of the protector with the center of point B like this the line should be above the baseline okay such that we couldn't see the line below this protector okay now we have to measure this angle as 60 degrees so starting from zero we will look at the outer scale because here we have a zero over here 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 and we will mark off this angle you see what what i did since angle B is equal to 60 degrees using a protector now we have to tell that which of the instrument are we using so using a protector at B at point B mark off an angle of 60 degrees and draw a line since we don't know the measurement of BC so we will draw a random line joining these two points and mark this line as BD okay i will mark d over here why because i don't know the measurement of uh, line bc okay when we are not provided with the length of bc this line we will mark it uh, randomly that is bd okay such that the angle abd is equals to 60 degrees so what we did we just uh, drew, drew a line line segment of 10.2 centimeters ab and then with center b I drew an angle of 60 degrees and I have to repeat this process since I'm provided with one another angle of 45 degrees at point A. So now, now I'm going to put my protector over here at point A such that the center coincide with each other and the baseline coincides with each other otherwise the triangle would be wrong. Okay and then I'll have to draw uh, an angle of 45 degrees because at point a i have a 45 degree angle so i'll mark off 45 degrees over here and then what i'll do so the construction step would be since a is equals to 45 degrees using a protector 
mark of an angle of 45 degrees and draw a line AE. Why am I saying AE? Because I don't know the length of AC. You see, I have to join this point with the center A and extend the line such that it cuts line BD. Okay, so this would be my construction step that using a protector at point A, mark off an angle of 45 degrees and draw a line AE. Why am I saying it as AE? Because I don't know the measurement of C to cut BD at point C. Where I cut this line BD, this point would be C because we have to draw uh, an, uh, a triangle ABC. Okay, so after doing that, we will have a triangle completed. Okay. Now the question says measure the measure and write down the length of AC. So we'll measure this line A to C. So it would be like 9.3. So we'll write it over here 9.3 centimeters. And we will write it down over here that length of AC is equals to 9.3 centimeters. Okay. And these are the construction steps. Using a ruler, draw line AB is equal to 10.2 centimeters, number one. Number two, since angle B is equal to 60 degrees, using a protector at B, mark off an angle of 60 degrees and draw a line BD such that angle ABD is equal to 60 degrees. Then, since angle A is equal to 45, in both these points, uh, point 0.2 and point 0.3 the construction step would be similar because we are provided with two angles and in such cases where we are provided with two angles we have to write down the construction steps just like this one okay since angle A is equal to 45 degrees using a protector at point A mark off an angle of 45 degrees and draw a line AE to cut BD at C at point C such that angle A B B A E is equal to 45 degrees you see here we have b as the center here we have a as the center of 45 degrees and your triangle is complete now let's talk about the second one construct an isosceles triangle pqr such that pq is equal to pr is equal to 10 centimeters and qr is equal to 9 centimeters in these type of triangles when students you are not provided with any of the angles you can draw the triangle using this compass okay we are going to draw QR of length 9 centimeters. And I'll write it down using a ruler. Yes, using a ruler, draw QR is equal to 9 centimeters. I told you that this would be your first step ever. Okay, now what we have to do next, since we are not provided with any of the angles, so what we have to do, we will say that P is 10 centimeters away from Q and R because QP and Q, uh, RP both are 10 centimeters given in the question. So we'll take Q as the center, okay, and open up the radius to 10 centimeters, okay. Use a sharp pencil. Okay. Open up your compass. Mark 10 centimeters. You see, this is 10 centimeters. I have opened up my compass to 10 centimeters. Now with center QR. I'm going to mark a, uh, an arc over here and with the same radius I'm going to mark an arc from Q. You see since both were 10 centimeters so I don't have to change my radius. I opened up a radius of 10 centimeters and I marked two arcs with center R and with center Q each of 10 centimeters. And then what I have to do, I just have to join the lines where I have got the third point.
so you see this is 10 centimeters and this is also 10 centimeters how easily we have drawn this triangle and this point would be point C okay this is an isosceles triangle where no angle was given only the three sides were given so in this case we drew the uh, uh, baseline of 9 centimeters QR we took base as QR you can take a, a, either of these that is 10 centimeters P, uh, QP or this is P sorry PQ or PR any of the three so we will write the construction steps as using a ruler draw QR is equals to 9 centimeters since it's an isosceles triangle and P is 10 centimeters away from Q and our board with Q as center and 10 centimeters as radius draw arc 1 then with R as center and same radius that is of 10 centimeters draw another arc 2 to cut arc 1 at P as we have done in the figure now join QP and RP your triangle is ready okay one more thing students it's required in the question it says measure and write down the size of QPR it means we have to measure this side so what are we going to do we will tilt the shape somehow and we'll measure this angle with center P How much is this angle? Starting from 0, between 50, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Between 50 and 40, it is 53 degrees. You see? It seems to be 53 degrees. So the rest of the two angles would be 63.5, 63.5 each. Since it's an isosceles triangle, these two sides are equal. So these two angles would be congruent as well. Okay. So these would be 63.5, 63.5. Now let's move to question number 3 part A where we are provided with two sides and one angle only. So we'll take AB as the base. Construct a triangle ABC such that AB is equal to 8 centimeters. And we are going to draw AB of 8 centimeters first okay using ruler draw a line AB of 8 centimeters the first construction step okay then we are provided with BC length 6.5 centimeters and ABC is equal to 80 degrees. So what are we going to do? I told you that if you are provided with an angle, any of the angle, you will take the protector and use the protect using the protector, you will mark off the angle. So with center A, since the angle ABC is given, B is the center. So we'll take B as the center over here and we will draw an angle of 80 degrees here's 80 degree okay and are we provided with the length of BC no we are not provided yes we are provided with the length BC so what do we have to do we just have to draw a line of 6.5 centimeters you see this is 6.5 we will join this line, joining the dot till 6 centimeters. So in this case, what is happening that we are provided with one angle, two sides, but the angle and the side are given of the same sides. That is the angle at point B is given and the side BC is also given. So in this case, it would be very easy for us to measure the angle first of uh, 80 degrees and then the join the line to point C that is extending the line to 6.5 centimeters and after getting point C what do we have to do we just have to join AC and we will when we will join AC we'll come to know that the distance between AC is 9.3 centimeters This was required in the question, 9.3 centimeters. Okay. 
Now let's write down the construction steps using a ruler. Draw line AB is equal to 8 centimeters. Then since B is equal to 80 degrees and BC is equal to 6.5 centimeters, using a protector at point B, mark off an angle of 80 degrees and draw a line BC of length 6.5 centimeter such that angle CBA is equal to 80 degrees. So in this point, we have done the we have covered two steps that is marking off the angle drawing an angle and drawing the line BC both then what we have to do just join AC and in part B of question number three again this question is of the same sort as we have done in question number two that is the three sides are given no angle is given construct a triangle XYZ such that XY is equal to five centimeters let us take XY no we are provided with one angle and that is at point X. So let us draw a baseline of 5 centimeters first. Okay. After drawing this line XY of 5 centimeters, we will go for the angle that is XYZ is equals to 10 degrees. So at point X, since this angle is XY, YXZ, so X would be the center. We'll put the center at X. And with this center, we have to draw an angle of 110 degrees. So we'll mark off an, a point over here at 110 degrees. Okay. And then we will draw a random line like this. Because we are not provided with the length of XZ. But yes, we are provided with the length of YZ. So we'll try to figure out with the scale. Or you can use the protector that where does this line coincide with 9 centimeters? It's here. You see? This is exact 9 centimeters. Here and here. When I'll join the line YZ would be exact 9 centimeters. You see? And this was given YZ of 9 centimeters. And you can do one more thing using the protector. And exact, uh, in fact, you have to use the protector. Open up it till 9 centimeters. What you have to do with center Y, you have to mark an arc over here. So you see the mark that we will using uh, this uh, compass will have the same effect using the scale. Okay, but uh, while writing the construction steps, you have to mention that you are using a compass over here and you will mark off an arc at point Z. Okay, so what do we have to do next? Measure and write down the length of XZ. We have to measure the length of XZ. It would be 5.9 centimeters or you can say 5 point, yes, 5.8 or 9 centimeters. This is XZ that we have to figure out. Now let's write down its construction steps. It would be using a ruler, draw XY is equal to 5 centimeters, first line. Since angle X is equal to 110 degrees, using a protector at X, you see, this step is getting repeated in every construction step. Since X is equal to 110 degrees, using a protector at X, mark off an angle of 110 degrees and draw a line XO such that angle XYO is equal to 110 degrees. This point we are repeating since question number one. So this is similar in all the questions. Now since Z is equal to 9 centimeters away from Y and Y as center and 9 centimeter as a radius, draw an arc to cut XO at Z. Now join YZ. So students, today we have learned how to draw different types of triangles. Inshallah, in the next video, we are going to learn how to draw quadrilaterals of different sorts. That is parallelogram, trapezium, rhombus, etc. Okay. So for now, take care and do subscribe to my channel if you are new over here. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends. Allah Hafiz.